Hi, I'm Cameo Dev, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a gun using Moon Animator. So first of all, you can do is create a new project, which you can do by going up to the new tab on the top left of your screen, and then just clicking on base plate. And then what you want to do is that you want to go up to the plugins tab. Moon Animator will show, but basically what you want to do is that you want to open character inserter. And then you want to go to click R6 and then insert. And then you can just simply close the tab. So what you want to go do now is go to home, toolbox and search up any gun you want. This tutorial is going to be based on WB weapons, which I find is probably the most easiest to animate. And they are also quite detailed and is practically any type of WB gun. You can find it by just searching up any gun you want and then just find the one with WB. So for this one, I'm going to search up AK-47 and then there's one there called WB AK-47 and that's the one I'm going to click on. So when it does import, it would ask you to insert scripts, you click OK, then it would ask if you want to insert it as a tool and then you're going to click no because you'll find out what we're going to do later. If you do click yes, you can just go to character starter pack and then it'll be in there and then you can just drag it into the workplace. So what you want to do now is that you want to hover over workspace, click on model and then you want to drag a, the, your gun model basically into the model and then you would want to remove everything in that tool into the model and then you would want to delete the tool. Because basically what you're doing is that you're making an animatable model. And then you're going to remove the first three items, which will be a folder and two scripts. And that's basically just removing all the bare bone stuff that would make that gun animatable and it will allow you to animate it. So basically next what you're going to do is that you're going to click through all the labeled mesh parts. And you're just going to find one that looks like it's around the center of the gun. For example... I'm gonna f I found this one and then I'm gonna just rename it to, to be it, to make it called main part or just main you can call it anything you want it just has to be memorable and different from anything else inside the gun next what you're gonna want to do is that you want to go to plugins moon animator and easy weld now this will allow the gun to not like just fall to pieces when you start animating or move the character instead so first of all what you're gonna want to do is that you're gonna want to select the main and then you want to select anything else that you just want to be the base of the gun for example you don't want to select the mag you, or you don't want to select the bolt because you want those to move when like reloading or firing etc so what you're going to do is that you're going to select the main and then select what else you want if you select anything else and then go on and do the main then the first part you selected is going to be the main and basically you don't want that because you don't know which part it is unless you look directly through it and that will just make everything much more complicated when welding. So basically click on the main and then control and then just select everything else you want. And then you want to uncheck the animatable option and then click join in place. Now as you see when I click it, it will come up with all these leaf icons inside the main and that means you knew you do it right because all of those items are now welded to the main. Now if you want to weld the bolt or any other movable options, you simply want to select main, select mag, bolt, etc make sure to click animatable is on and then click join in place again basically that's the gist of it and then everything welded should be inside the gun now basically what you want to do is that you want to rotate the gun and just move it into a position where you want the gun to be on the character so basically as you can see here i'm just going to scale the gun down since i think it's too big and then i'm just simply going to move it into the character in a way that makes it look like he's holding it once you're done, you want to move the model and just rename it to what you, to what gun you want it to be and then simply move it into your character on the workspace on the left, which should be there. And then what you want to do is that you want to drag it into which arm it has. You can't drag, if you drag it into a leg or anything else, it's basically going to make you have to restart the whole thing. So basically to weld it, what you're going to do is that you're going to click on the arm this time, the left arm part in the body, and then you're going to click on the main. Now you're going to want to go to plugins, move an animator, easy weld, make sure animatable's on, and then click join in place. Now, it's time to animate. So now, what you want to do is you go to moon animator on plugins, moon animator, and then create a new moon 2 file. 
and then you'll open up the file, you click the plus icon, and then you click on the rig, your character in a nutshell. Make sure the rig is checked, nothing else is checked, and you click OK. And basically you'll see in, in which arm it'll have the animatable like the mag and the bolt. That means you're doing the right thing. And then you can also test by just moving the arm of the gun. As you can see, I welded it right, because it's moving in the right sort of way. Now for a gun animation, what you're going to want to do is do the starting pose. Ideally, you, you would want to like pick up a Nerf gun, try aim down it, just feel how your body would move, and then just simply move the parts accordingly to make it look like it's just generally holding the gun. Now you can click R on your keyboard to just change between the rotation and the movement, and then every time you move, it'll appear on the top left, on the top of your animating screen, and basically that means you know that it's generally working. So now what you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to move the blue box along just to move the timeline and then you're going to want to use your scroll wheel on the left on the hotbar basically and then you're going to want to double tap on rig that will basically solidify what you've done and your base pose and then you're going to want to copy it across the timeline just a few seconds basically and then that's the base. So what you want to do now is that you want to add some sort of recoil. So when you fire a gun, you obviously go back a bit because of recoil. So you're going to want to move the arm up and slightly back a bit to make this happen. Once you've got what you want, you can simply copy and paste the frames on the base. And then you can move it in front of the other frames that you use to move the arms. So basically, it's like a pen going forwards and backwards in a linear motion. The forward pen goes forward and then it goes backwards. That's basically what you're doing with the arms. And then when you've done the arms, you can move the legs and just make sure they're in the same line on the timeline frame by again dragging the blue square across your screen. Now, if your animation is too slow, you can always grab the group of keyframes by simply dragging along like you would in a Windows browser by dragging an application. You simply drag across and then you move it closer. And then you can always preview by dragging the blue square to the beginning and just clicking space. It's like playing some sort of music software, it's just going to start playing the animation. Now, if you want to animate a bolt, you're going to get the bolt by finding it first, and as you can see, you can move it up and down, and that's basically the bolt. Now it will make another timeline in the, th in the main animator, just like your arm. So what you want to do is that you want to copy it at the beginning, when it's in its original place, and then when it starts firing, it's going to move back, and at the end of the firing, it's going to be back in its position again. So basically, it's just like the pen motion all over again with the arms. And as you can see here, it goes back, it goes forwards, it goes back again. So now let's say I wanted to spice it up. I want to add some particle effects. Basically, the muzzle flash when the gun goes off. The light that emits when a spark happens when you fire your gun. Basically, you're going to go into workspace, you're going to go into fire part, and then there'll be four items, three particles and one light. What you're going to do is that you're going to select the three particles by going to Moon Animator, clicking the plus, and then selecting the three particles. You're then going to go untick everything except enabled, and then you can click OK. Basically, what you're going to see is that it's going to put all of them into the animation, and you can view this by simply scrolling all the way up and down. Now, if you do select the three and the light, it's only going to import the one you did first, so you can simply do it by clicking light and then unlight again. So, if you want to make it so that all the particles are simply in line, you're simply going to want to line up the blue square and then you want to double tap on enabled. Basically, that'll just create a keyframe where the gun starts moving. And to change it, you simply drag across like a Windows application again, and then you click 7 on your keyboard. And then the, there will be a screen that will come up, and it will say boolean, and then there wouldn't be anything inside that square. If you click it, muzzle effects will start going off. Basically, that's when it turns on, and you click OK. So you can see before, it's not on, and then after, it is on. Basically, that's how you just do particles. And then simply what you want to do is that you want to drag along the keyframes again for the enable disable blah 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 and you control c and then you can control v the keyframe and on practically when it starts moving down and basically as you can see it makes this sort of muzzle effect that you're going to want when you're firing your gun 
Now for the lights, it's basically the same thing. You click plus, you click on light, and then you click you click untick everything and click enabled again. And then what you're gonna wanna do is that you're gonna wanna click enabled, disabled, control C, control V, practically everything the same and it'll end and start at the same place as the keyframes. So now you've basically got a one shot. So what you're gonna wanna do now is that you're gonna wanna simply copy and paste it all by you simply drag like you did for copy and pasting the keyframes you just drag from the top you use your mouse scroll to go down you control c you move it along and then you control v it and basically it's just going to create two shots and if you want to do rapid fire you just paste it all along just paste 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 now you might want to exclude it going all the way back down again as it'll just create a seamless more rapid fire now as you can see here, I'm just going to copy and paste all the clips just so I do a one shot, a two shot, and then a rapid fire. So as you can simply see, I've done one shot, two shot, and then a rapid fire. And it's all pretty seamless. There are a few things I can fix here and there, but I'm not going to just to make the tutorial shorter because it's already pretty long. Now the keyframes may look daunting, but don't worry. If you don't touch them or anything, they'll be fine. Now to make the reloading animation. So reloading is pretty simple, so what you want to first do is that you want to make the head look directly at what they're holding, because that's just what you're going to naturally do. So position it so it's going to look at the mag, and then what you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to hold the hand, and it just moves down to the mag, and that's basically the base of the whole reloading animation. So now what you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to select the mag, and as you can see, it's animatable because I can just rotate it and it doesn't affect anything. So what you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to move it roughly into the same place as the hand as when the mag was in. And then what you're going to want to do is just you're going to want to move the hand so it's going to reach behind its back. And you're going to move the mag into the same place roughly each time. What you're going to want to do by that is just move the mag into the hand in roughly the same place. And it'll sort of create this sort of rustic effect which is actually pretty cool and it's better than just making transparent mag then it's much easier as well and it's overall just much simpler so what you can then want to do if the mag's sort of like in between the arm or like you're just moving somewhere else other than the arm you're just going to go through frame by frame and just simply correct it and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to reach around behind its back and then just move the mag roughly behind their back in the same place as well or you can just move it into the torso because you're obviously not going to be able to see the mag from there and there you have it you have him taking the mag off and slopping it into his back pocket. Now to make a reverse frame where he takes it out, you're simply going to want to copy the frame closest, like the line of frame, and then you're going to move it roughly into the same place. So you can see here, roughly the, roughly the line, and then move into the same place. And what you're going to want to do is that you want to copy it until the mag's back in the gun. So now it doesn't look completely realistic, so what you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to create an extra frame in between the second last and the last, and you're just going to make it so the mag's going to go forward and cock into the gun backwards, because that's what naturally a mag would do. As you can see, it goes forward, and then it goes slightly back again, just to make sure it looks extra realistic instead of you just slot it in, which doesn't really look as nice. So now what you're going to want to do is that you're going to grab the bolt so when you put it in and the bolt you're going to want to make it look really realistic so it looks generally smooth and nice because when you pull the bolt back it basically puts a bullet out from the chamber into the gun and since you're reloading you obviously don't have a gun in the chamber so what you're going to do is that you're going to move the arm up to roughly where the bolt would be on your gun and basically you're going to do basically the same as shooting where it goes back forwards back forwards so basically what you want to do is that you want to move the arm back and then you're going to want to move the bolt with it. Now, if the bolt, the bolt hasn't been moved yet unless it's been fired, so the bolt's slowly going to move and you don't want that to happen, you want to move it move fast. So what you're going to do is that you're going to copy a keyframe from earlier and then you're going to move it to where you want it, to where you want the bolt to start moving. And basically that just stops any like slow movements on the bolt. And then so you go back and then you copy the keyframe from earlier, and then it moves forward. You can basically just do that by pasting, and there you have it. The arm goes up, it pulls back, it pulls forward, 
and then you can make it go down by going back to the very beginning by simply dragging the blue square across and then you can select everything and then control c and then control v at the very end not the very end just make it more realistic at the end so it's not so it's a decent amount away from where the last keyframe is and it just looks generally better and then you have it you're basically done as always thanks for watching i hope this tutorial was helpful if you have anything that you need help with leave in the comments if you have any new ideas for videos leave them in the comments as well like the video join the discord and thanks for watching